Hey gems, welcome back to my channel. So this video is a little different, but that's because I recorded it not knowing where or if I would ever post it. But I decided to post it here on my channel because I want to share more about my journey of intentional healing. Some of you may or may not know some of my story in terms of what I've been through and what I'm currently going through because I haven't shared much about it in detail on here. But I want to open up more about what I'm doing to intentionally heal and through that share more details on my story. My life is beautiful. It's one of my daily mantras that I post often and write at the end of every last one of my journal entries because it's a reminder to see the beauty in everything. It's a reminder that my words are powerful and I have the power to speak the life that I want into existence. As a single mother of three, I am often overstimulated. Although I now have more good days than bad, that overstimulation can lead to panic attacks, anxiety, or me slim simply shutting down or lashing out. I strive to be the best version of myself every day for my children, but when I am not able to step back and take care of myself mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically, I can't do that. The beach has always been my happy place, even before I became a mother. So that's where I go to release and recharge. When I got there today, the water was rough. The tides were high and full of seaweed. Spring is upon us and even the ocean does her spring cleaning. Out of respect for her, I didn't go in. Instead, I sat on the sand, I wrote in my journal, I cried, I moved my body through yoga, and I basked in the sun. These are all healing tools for me. The sun, writing, movement, crying, the sounds of the waves, the smell of the seawater. It's my medicine. And after today's dose, I was able to calm my body, ease my mind, and see the beauty in my life. So I was going to actually just find some type of background music or song to play for the rest of the video but I realized that my words have more meaning so I usually don't do this but I decided to share what I wrote in my journal today while I was on the beach. March 11, 2023. I wish I can fix myself overnight, but I know true healing takes time. Intentional healing takes even longer because I'm not just hoping time takes the pain away. Every day I rise with the intention to be better and do better than yesterday. I'm digging deep and opening up old wounds that can never be closed again just to heal the new ones. It hurts, but the pain of healing is much sweeter than the pain of abuse, the pain of neglect, the pain of manipulation, the pain of simply holding on to all of that trauma. So I take it one day at a time because I know these challenging days aren't here to stay. I know I am capable of working through this discomfort. I am now in the season of letting go and releasing all that no longer serves me 
to make room for the flowers due to blossom from the seeds that I have sowed. The frustration, the anger, the sadness, the pain, I release it all because they don't belong to me. I am no longer in survival mode. I am safe. I no longer have to hold my breath. The air over here is pure. I can breathe. I can breathe. I can breathe. Signed, my life is beautiful. I love you, Jahila. So that is what I wrote on the beach today. Um, as you can see in the video, well, earlier earlier on in the video, I was sitting and writing in my journal. That is what I was writing. And um, in writing that, a lot of emotions came up for me. And of course, I cried a little bit. And crying is healing. It's releasing. It's just letting go of all of the emotions stored inside of you that you just need to let out of your body and that is why it made me feel so much better writing that crying breathing just the simple words of saying that i can breathe it's so powerful because at one point i couldn't I was being suffocated, I was being choked, physically, mentally, emotionally. But the simple gift of being able to breathe, inhale, exhale, and just breathe. See the beauty in breath. I am grateful to be here. I am grateful to be still. I am grateful to be silent. I am grateful to be alive. One of the affirmations that I read that day is as follows. I declare my intentions to the universe and I welcome a positive shift and turnaround in my life. I am emerging as the best version of myself and I release any habits, traits, and behaviors that no longer serve me. I am no longer in survival mode. I am thriving and opening up a new chapter. My alignment level is high and I am perfect. I am in perfect harmony with the universe. I am ready to create a powerful shift and unlock my true and full potential. I am grateful for the infinite possibilities available to me. Thank you, universe, for guiding me on this journey and helping me to achieve my goals and dreams. Ashe.